Hi guys, and welcome to another video. I've been kind of busy today, I don't know. I'm in the middle of writing the next, um... I keep referring to them as WTF, like, no videos, but they're not called that anymore, I don't know. I've been making, like, another Guild Wars 2 mechanics thing that I've been writing for ages, but... Uh, I kind of want to break. I, I'm, it's it's going to be about, like, PvP-ish. Kind of, like, a couple of problems people are seeing with PvP. Uh, I don't know. I've been writing it for a while. I've kind of got a bit of, I don't know. I don't want to say writer's block. It's not exactly that, but I just figured I want to do something else. So, yeah, I'm going to film today's uh, Winds of Change. Hope you're all doing good. I hope everything's all right. Uh, yeah, we're going to speak to Zayri, I guess. I've done literally no preparation for this. I doubt there'll be a uh, website thing at the start, and I doubt we'll do some of those hidden dialogues just yet, but we will uh, soon enough. So, we're going to speak to Zayri. I think at least this next quest isn't going to be too hard. He says, It is good to see you again. I have received word of further sightings of the afflicted, this time in Shadow's Passage. We know that, at long last, we are gaining some ground in this fight. The afflicted have not been seen in Bucket Byway since their last defeat. Perhaps we're finally nearing the end of their numbers. With every battle we see, this is ridiculous. This, like, so much of the start of Chapter 1 of Winds of Change is fighting afflicted. Oh, I've, I'm going to talk about this a lot, okay? But a lot of the dialogue you read here, it's like, oh, we're, we're near the end of the afflicted. I think he must say that about a million times. It just loses all meaning. By like the second time he says it, it loses all meaning. But we're going to be hearing it a lot. Uh, perhaps we are finally nearing the end of their numbers. With every battle we win, we assure the safety of one more section of the city. Knowing that, will you lend me your strength once more? Of course I will, for the safety of Kainang. I think I've done enough. No. Well, they're not getting funny yet, the declines, are they? Uh, but yeah, okay, so that's Zayri there. Um, this guy here, this Ministry of Purity guy, he will give us some quests later. Do you like their armor, by the way? It's pretty cool, isn't it? He'll give us, I think, a couple of quests later. He's, you see he's got a quest for us here. This isn't actually a part of Winds of Change yet, or, or like a side quest. What happens is where there are permanent changes out in the explorable areas, um, they, they, some of those mobs are replaced with new mobs that are kind of weird. I don't actually know very much. There's no, like no law written about them as far as I'm aware. I may have to look that up like sometime later, but I'm pretty sure there's no law. They're just like these scavenger people, and they all like wield oppressor weapons and stuff. It's really, really quite odd. But um, if you're a player that doesn't like the new mobs for whatever reason, you've completed Winds of Change and you want to see the Afflicted again, you can get a quest off of that guy. Um, uh, once you've completed the Winds of Change, or once you've completed a certain chapter, I believe. And uh, once you've done that, he'll say, oh yeah, we can return all the mobs back to normal if you want. I have no idea why, you, why you'd want to do that, but hey, I guess with uh, the Warring Kriter, it kind of automatically did it. You kind of get the choice now. For as long as this quest in your log, it will change it back, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we got loads of other NVCs. I don't know really when I want to speak to these guys. This person here, the Arms Dealer... Um, will give us, uh, he says, if you're looking for weapons, you've come to the right place. I've got exactly what you need, no matter what it is, you're fighting. I've got something sharp enough to stick in it. Right, okay, well, uh, should we ask who she is? Uh, I'm just someone making a difference in my own special way. Truth of it is, I get kickbacks from the Ministry of Purity. The more weapons, the more I get weapons into the hands of the people. So I don't really care who takes them, just as long as they've got the Ministerial Commendations to keep things official. Why not take a, take a look at what I've got? I'm certain you'll be able to find something that's a perfect fit for you. As you know, we've been, oh, my nose keeps blocking up today. I don't know what it is. Uh, as you know, we, we got these commendations at the end of the last uh, quest, so this is kind of the reward you get. And the, this person came out in part one, I believe. Uh, and what, what she'll offer you is uh, these things here, these purity weapons. They're purple. The skins are okay. I, are there gold versions of these anymore? I don't know. I don't think there really are, but it's kind of interesting. I've never really spent the money on it, though. I think these actually, the, the skins aren't even unique, are they? Or they're like... Uh, yeah, like this just looks like a Kowloon domination staff, if I remember rightly. So, kind of lame. These were the original rewards for just part one. There's another unique weapon set that was released called Imperial Weapons uh, in part uh, three, which you could get once you've completed everything, which is probably what I'll be showing you most. Speaking of the rewards, actually, uh, hold on, let's zone three. So we're going to Shadow's Passage, so we'll go to the Dragon's Throat. We were here in, a, in an episode a couple of days ago. Yeah, but, um,. I was going to say, yes, speaking of the rewards and stuff, I, I, I don't, I can't remember if I did it. I'm pretty sure I did it. Well, I am wielding some of the rewards. I'm wielding these things here. Uruku Slicers, okay? Do you remember what I said about Alari's Double Blades? Um, well, these are pretty much the Winds of Change version of those, and I got them from completing it on my first character, so they're pretty cool daggers. So that's what my new daggers look like. Uh, did I do this with the other characters? No, I didn't. I didn't. I've actually got a massive collection of um, end game. Oh, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are in hard mode. I've got a massive collection of 
uh, Winds of Change uh, rewards that I, I'm kind of tempted to, to to like put on all my heroes and stuff and equip everyone out with. Um, I, I've like almost got a full set of the new skins as well. I kind of, when it released, I wanted to do a video of all of the new s the skins and be like, hey, this is what it all looks like. But I don't know. I don't know how, how many people would really be interested in that. We might do it at the end of Winds of Change. Anyway, here's Zayri again. He says, greetings, friends. I hope that this day finds you well. I'm pretty sure he'll say that same thing to us the whole way through, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, so, yeah, more fighting. Ugh. I wish I could get through to you guys. How well I will get through to you. I, I somebody mentioned um, in one of the videos a while ago it was like, oh, this is going to be just like Thunderhead Keep and stuff. And I'm telling you, it will be. It genuinely will be. Did I just tell him to use that on himself? I did. Crap. It will be. I promise you that. Ugh, some of the stuff is going to be so hard. There've there've been various updates to the Winds of Change that make it a little bit easier. As time's gone on, uh, like when me and Magical Mike did it, there was a particularly difficult quest uh, that got, uh, like, nerfed. Like, it was made easier, really. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Please. Please. That should have been alright. That should have been a good engage. Yeah, there you go. See, they're all balled around me, and I can just knock them out. Uh, Brawling Headbutt, you will see me use, but probably only when there's, like, a significant target to knock out, or I'm, like, fighting and Death Blossom's not getting any AoE out. But even then, look, that was an okay engage there, but I think we got, like, possibly Ray of Judgment or something hit us over there, so we took a lot of damage. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I genuinely, um, with the difficulty of this, when, when it starts to get quite hard... See, I've told myself I didn't want to do this. Like I said earlier, I, I didn't want to use Shadow Form as well. Um, because that, that would probably be easier. It's less micro. I can then dedicate... You know, Dunkor is not really doing much in my party. I could then change him to a more offensive build or give us some more defense. You know, in, in one way, giving yourself more offense obviously helps the defensive capabilities of your party. Because the enemies die quicker and stuff. But, um, I mean, he's not doing a lot. So I could use Shadow Form. Uh, and I've told myself I didn't want to do it because it would feel a little bit cheap, right? But the other thing that I kind of don't want to do is consumables, like concepts. But I'm, I might end up doing it. I, I genuinely, it depends how difficult this all ends up getting because, I don't know. I mean, we're really coming up to near the end now. I, I did a really, really kind of challenging thing with prophecies. And as we've been going through, like, with Eye of the North, I bet I didn't really do a challenge at all, right? I sometimes had the UI off. Sometimes when I fancied it, I had it back on. Definitely for the War in Crying stuff, we've not really been doing a challenge or anything. I've just kind of been cruising through it. And since Eye of the North's really ended, I don't know. It's not that I don't want to do Guild Wars 1 anymore. Not at all. It's just that now we're kind of getting more into Guild Wars 2 style stuff. So I wouldn't want to drag this out for ages and ages and ages. So, I don't know, if, if it does get really hard, I'm, I, I probably won't blink at using concerts or something, just so that we can kind of finish the Winds of Change and uh, focus on other stuff. And again, it's, it's not that I want to stop doing Guild Wars 1 stuff, but it's like, I've definitely <laughs> and not been meaning to, but sort of, we've been having a lot of bigger, longer breaks since the end of Eye of the North. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Winds of Change, once that's done, it's like, then I can be like, right, well, when there's updates to Guild Wars 1, we'll do that, but, uh, you know, especially with beta and stuff coming out closer on Guild Wars 2, I do want to be ready for that. I wanted to have Winds of Change finished for for, Mar for the start of March, funnily enough, but we've been going so slow with the, the Guild Wars Beyond stuff, it's taken me quite a while. <laughs> Uh, what else though? Uh, last episode, seriously, I'm I'm not going to use Shadow Form. Let's see what happens here. Not Shadow Form. I'm not going to use Spellbreaker. See if we're okay. Yeah. See, that was nice because we had a really nice ball there, and Panics just knocked them all out. That's a really nice ball, actually. They should just die pretty quick. See, that's the other thing. You knock everyone out on this, and then all of the afflicted just kind of blow up straight away. Yeah. Like, on the first episode, I was like, oh yeah, I've got all this to say, and and like it ended up ending really, really quickly. Uh, that's the other thing I might end up doing with this. I might do, like, several quests in a row, like, half an hour episodes or something, you know, so it goes out a little bit faster. I'm not sure. I'll probably just do this one episode here, though, because I'm just, I don't know. I want a little bit of a break from that, that Guild Wars 2 mechanics thing. Uh, but yeah, sorry, Zayri's been speaking. This is the other thing I might do. If I start doing, like, post-commentary here during this Let's Play... What I might end up doing is like not mentioning the dialogue and then reading it all at the end because <laughs> to be perfectly honest, what he says is it's never in reference to a specific thing every now and then. Oh, check it out. We vanquished the... Oh, is that our first vanquish? <laughs> I think that's our first vanquish ever on the Let's Play. Oh my god, I've barely talked about any hard mode stuff, have I? Yeah, welcome to hard... This is one of the things I wanted to say on the first episode, but it ended up really short. This is hard mode, guys. Um... <laughs> 
pretty much what will happen when you're in hard mode. You get hard mode versions of all... Uh, what it will put is this effect on you, uh, which gives you plus 50% experience. What that doesn't tell you then, it will tell you how many enemies you've killed in the area. What it doesn't tell you is that all opponents in hard mode move 33% faster, attack 33% faster, activate skills 33% faster, unless it's a one second spell now, because it used to be that you interrupting things was just never viable in PvE because of that. Um, so that's changed now. Um, but they're just generally all much stronger, okay? And then what happens is you get a different title for complete... I can't believe I'm actually explaining hard mode this late in. But what you get is a different title. You know, we've, we've got to go over it all. This is, you know, completionist. You get a different title in the game if you complete all missions and, and their bonuses in hard mode. That's the Guardian title. So if you do all missions and all bonuses in normal and hard mode, you get a lot of titles out of that. I mean, quite a lot of titles. There we go. We've got a lockpick. Oh, and it's purple. What a surprise. What would my videos be if we weren't getting purples? So, yeah, there's that. And then, in addition, it's not just missions that you can get a title for. When you're in hard mode, uh, it will tell you how many enemies you've killed in the area. And there's like a progress bar. You can probably barely see it on YouTube. Uh, that slowly rises as you kill enemies, right? And uh, this is called vanquishing. If you kill every single enemy in an explorable area, you've vanquished the area. And you get progress on that one place. So, if we look at the map, if you've got a little red marker, that means you've not vanquished. If you've got a little gold one, it means you have. If I press H, now that we've actually vanquished somewhere... Uh, where is it? Let's have a look down. Um, oh, wait. We've vanquished more than one area. What? Oh, no. There you go. Canton Vanquisher. Here we go. This title here. One out of 33 explorable areas vanquished. Uh, that will slowly go up. So if you vanquish everywhere in a whole continent, i.e. kill every single mob in a whole continent, then yay, you actually you get completion there and you um, you get another title from that. And then if you vanquish all places and all continents, you get uh, another thing as well. So yeah, that's kind of that's what hard mode is all about. That you hard mode also skill tomes and stuff can drop in hard mode. I, don't, I think that's the only new drop really you get in hard mode though, isn't it? Oh yeah, and scrolls to the Fissure, the fissure of Woe and the, and the Underworld. Uh, but yeah, that's what hard mode's all about, guys. The reason why we got Vanquish there was because in Canther it's really weird. Um, you know what I've talked about countless times now, about how if you're not near the enemies they haven't technically spawned? Uh, vanquishing usually accounts for the fact that there are enemies around even though they've not spawned but some places in Canther it doesn't do that so we kind of had only been to the first half of Shadow's Passage and it thought we'd killed everything because it didn't count for the further stuff down the road which is a weird bug and it's weird that the first place we ever vanquish on the, the videos is sort of because of that bug but there you go so that's uh that's hard mode for you guys there you go all, after all this time, we have talked about hard mode. And yeah, hard mode, that's kind of what we're doing here. There are hard mode quests as well in the game now, which not only do you have to complete them in hard mode with those buffs to monsters that I described earlier, but also the quest itself will change, as in enemies will have new abilities and all those kinds of things. I'm not saying that necessarily all of Winds of Change has quests that do that, but there are certainly differences in the hard mode versions of Winds of Change quests, in spawns and in, you know, different things that can happen, like dialogue and stuff, as well as than what actually happens in normal mode. So, uh, so yeah, there, there are pretty significant changes, and that's why this is going to be so hard. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Hey, Zayri. Oh, sorry, he, he read some more stuff out, didn't he? We haven't actually read this yet. Okay, so here we go. He says, It's hard to believe that the Ministry of Purity has been fighting the afflicted for nearly two years now. It's amazing how time envelops you when you're devoted to your goals. So they kind of formed two years ago. It's kind of where the ArenaNet released this like blog post where they talked about all the things they were trying to achieve with the Winds of Change. And they say at the start of that blog post, Oh, we wanted the player to be introduced to the Ministry of Purity as it rises to power, as it forms. And I feel like it, they were trying to do that, but they even still kind of missed the point there as well. Because the Ministry of Purity has already been going for two years, they've just said. It's like, we're just kind of tacking on at the end here. And they're already talking about how nearly all the afflicted are gone. So, But in any case, he says, It's amazing how time envelops you when you're devoted to your goals. That I can agree with. And he says, And another battle is won. I wish you could have seen the battles that came before. Watching people find their own strength and fighting for a cause is a powerful thing. With our own hands, we are building a better world for ourselves and for those who will live after we're gone. It makes me proud to say that I'm a part of it all. Don't forget, this is to do with stuff that's going to be happening in Guild Wars 2. I've talked a little bit before about what happens in Cantha. We'll be talking about it a lot more as we go through. But a big theme, I'll say for now, of the Ministry of Purity is they're trying to empower the people to help themselves instead of relying on here 
heroes like me. So, uh, yeah, he's a re which is a bit weird considering he's asking for my help here. But in any case, uh, another section of the city is clear, and I have no doubt that this time it's for good. Can you feel it, friend? The stirrings in the air that speak of great works and great things to come. These are exciting times that we're living in. And before I forget, this is for you. Uh, so there you go. It's really nice rewards from this, by the way. You get a lot of gold and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, guys. I guess I'll see you next time. I'm going to keep writing this uh, video. I don't know, I've got, I'm, I'm kind of, there's a few points I want to say, but it's like they're, these videos are weird because sometimes I agree with problems that people say, but I kind of want the overall video to say, hey, yeah, don't worry about it, I think it's a bit too early to be complaining about these things, so I've kind of got a paragraph I'm writing at the moment where there are some pretty damn legitimate complaints that some people have had about like the down system and then my kind of usually I, I say this is the problem and this is why I think it's not a big deal but my this is why it doesn't I don't think it's a big deal it sounds like a complete cop-out because I just think it's too early to be speculating about that stuff but I do think it's important that we raise those problems in the first I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say with it but uh, <laughs> it will probably be out later today yeah I'm, I'm actually gonna end this now so uh, nice catching up guys I will see you next time See you later. I might even do another lore video before I start again, I don't know. Hmm.